Sunday, you guys. So today is one of those chill with me type of days instead of like a chill with me all week type of situation because once again, <laughs> I did not vlog this week. So um, I've been putting this off for so long, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I need to clean out my entire vanity and I'm gonna switch out everything that is in the vanity and put products in there that I am focusing on for the next upcoming weeks to a month. Um, and I told y'all I wanted to start doing this, so we're gonna start back doing this and I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up and have you guys watch me while I do it. So if you need to get up and I don't know, clean up something or if you need to organize your makeup, just go ahead and do it with me because <laughs> that is what we're about to do. And um, I'm just gonna show y'all all the products that I wanna put in my vanity. So this is what I call my everyday drawer. By the way, before we get too far into this day, <laughs> um, hello. <laughs> Because I notice a lot of you are new to my channel, so welcome. Um, Sundays are chill days, okay? So if you like vlogs, if you like laid back type of videos, or if you like, I don't know, clean with me's or organize with me, just chill with me type of content, this is what we do on Sundays and it's super duper random. Like some days I don't even know what I'm gonna do. So like I just pick up the camera <laughs> and just, um, y'all just see me. So I try to stay consistent on the channel. I upload every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. So this is what you guys get on Sundays. And then on Wednesday and Fridays, I do just like my regular content videos. So today is just super random, but I'm doing what I have put off for so long, which is cleaning out this vanity drawer and putting in products that I'm really trying to focus on because I don't know about y'all, but I like to try to rotate the products that I use being that I do receive a lot of products. I purchase a lot of products. Anyway, yeah, so that is what we are doing today. Welcome. This is what we're dealing with right now. This is where I keep all of my everyday makeup and then I just be, th girl, I just be throwing stuff on this vanity. So <laughs> yeah, let's get to it. Before anyone asks, um, cause I know I'm gonna get questions about this. I always get these like little inserts from, you can get them from TJ Maxx, Marshalls, you know, stores like that. Um, and they're pretty cheap, but I just like to keep my makeup in them so that way the actual drawer doesn't get messy. Um, but let me show you what I am putting in my drawer. So I always like to keep this little makeup palette in here. This is from DSMD Shop. You just squirt like foundations and stuff on it so that way you won't be putting anything on your hands. So I just like to keep it in my drawer. So I guess I'll start out with the foundations that I'm putting in my drawer. So I just did a review on this KVD foundation bomb and also this Fenty. Um, I really hope this is going to be in focus the whole time. But anyway, the Fenty skin tint. So definitely want to continue to use these because I mean obviously I just got them and I like to try to use products more than once so that way i can kind of follow up with you guys in later videos so these will be in here for sure i'm still using this um sephora best skin ever i cannot put this thing down y'all this is literally my favorite foundation ever at the moment so um i'm gonna still use this i kind of want to see how this would be mixed in with um actually both of these the kvd and the fenty i don't know i just like to mix stuff so these are definitely staying in my everyday makeup drawer and you guys so you um nars just came out with um well they extended their shades in their skin t not skin tints what is it 
the uh, tinted moisturizers. I never really had a shade in this tinted moisturizer, so I got the shade Havana and um, Marrakesh. Now, <laughs> I've already filmed my review on this shade, and I was kind of questioning it, so I went ahead and got another shade, so I don't know if I'm just gonna try to refilm it and incorporate both of the shades so I can see which one works the best or if I just want to go ahead and upload my review on this shade right here um Marrakesh I think that's how you say it anyway that's gonna go in my everyday makeup drawer too because I want to um continue to use these let me just take them out of the box actually yeah let me just take them out of the box um and next y'all when I say there has been so many skin tints and like um tinted moisturizers coming out i know this is like a lot of complexion but y'all just bear with me <laughs> um anyway next just came out with this new bear with me um luminous tinted skin serum i haven't even tried this out yet so let me know if you guys want like a full dedicated review on this or if you just want me to incorporate it in a full face testing new drugstore products and i'll definitely do it but i got the shade universal um medium deep and i believe they only I don't, uh they don't have a lot of shades in this so yeah, and I think this is like the next to the last shade. I'm not too sure, but this is how she looks. But yeah, I'll show this in, an, in a video for you guys. Just let me know what kind of video you want, like a full dedicated video or like a just testing new drugstore product video. Now, I didn't want to get carried away with primers, so I'm just pulling out two. And I think I have one because I have a bunch of products stashed away from my full face testing new Sephora products. And I think there's a primer in there. Um, so I think I'll have a total of three primers in my everyday makeup drawers. So the Lawless, okay y'all. I know when I first tried this out with you guys in my testing new product video, I was testing all of my products that I received or I was testing all the products that I um, hauled in my first Sephora haul about a month ago. Um, and I know I was like, uh, I don't know if I really like this, but I actually really do like this product. So um, I wanna, of course, continue to use it and possibly use it up because that is that is what I'm trying to do nowadays is use products up. So we are keeping her in here. And also this NYX Honeydew. I'm pretty late with trying this out. And I tried this out when I was testing out a full face of drugstore products a few weeks ago. It's not something that I would go crazy about, but I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty hydrating on my skin, which is what I like. So we are gonna continue to use her. So yeah, so those are all the primers and all of the like foundations that I'm keeping in my everyday makeup drawer. Now, setting powders. So I am going to continue with my La Mer. Come on, focus girl. Girl, focus. Is it focusing? It probably is. I can't really see y'all. Um, but the La Mer setting powder. And they have, I think this is just the only shade they have. It's just like a translucent setting powder. So I had her in here for the past two months and I've been mixing this. Now I know I haven't shown it in videos, but this is when like I'm just sitting at my vanity doing my makeup in my zone. So I've been mixing her with my Sephora translucent setting powder, which y'all know this has been my jam. This right here. Girl, y'all know the Sephora sale is coming up on the 9th, I believe. So if you are on the hunt for a affordable translucent setting powder, it's not too drying. It sets beautifully on the skin. Go ahead and put her in your cart. She, um, why do I keep saying her and she? <laughs> but it's just one shade, it's translucent. So yeah, but anyway, I'm gonna have these two as my loose setting powders in my, um, everyday makeup drawer and then for my pressed powders i am so remember i said i filmed my review on the nars skin tint well the nars tinted moisturizer in the marrakesh shade so in that video i was using this to set the perimeter of my face and i forgot i had this y'all so we are pulling her back out this is the nars light reflecting setting powder in the shade sun um what is it sunstone come on focus 
y'all totally forgot I had this in my collection so definitely want to get some more use so this is what um, I just put all over my face um, so yeah going in there and then LYS Beauty the translucent setting powder this is what I'm gonna use to set my concealer so she will get more use as well let's put pressed powder right here yeah pressed powder is right here and the Kosas setting powder in the shade cloud uh, no it's called cloud set but the shade is softly if y'all can see that and this is how it looks now I've been using this quite a bit cuz um I mean I obviously I just got it so I've definitely been using it and I've come to realize this doesn't um it reminds me of my Sephora micro smooth setting powder but it I feel like this is a little bit more sheer than the Sephora micro smooth let me know if you guys feel the same way if you already have the micro smooth and if you have this let me know if you feel the same way because I just feel like this um, it's definitely more sheer but they both make your skin look really really smooth but yeah those will be my setting powders moving on to bronzer so I am pulling back out my OIS beauty bronzer this is the shade strength and here is how it looks now I do have two more other bronzers that I will be putting in my drawer but they are currently stashed away for a video and I don't want to take them out of the bag just yet so um, it's the new Fenty bronzer that well the new shade is um, thick mint and the new um, Danessa Myricks bronzer so those two will definitely be um, in this drawer once I get done filming and then this next this is what I use all the time y'all know this well if you don't know this this is what I always use for my nose contour and I always just dip into this one color I don't use any of the other shades in here because they definitely don't work but this is a good shade to um, contour my nose so it's the Elle Cosmetics bronzer palette and the shade um, is deep so that's that okay blush y'all I have really gotten into cream blushes this from um, ColourPop is the cheek this thing from ColourPop now these are super duper duper sheer but I like it I really why does it keep getting out of focus but yes I like it this is a uh, shade kiss kiss so definitely keeping her in my everyday makeup drawer and I'm pulling back out my Elle Cosmetics uh, primer infused blush in the shade always spicy my holy grail drugstore br uh, blush of all blushes so she's definitely going in the drawer now for my concealers I'm still using my Kevin Aquan y'all know I always just use this for my brows it's the Kevin Aquan sensual skin enhancer and the shade that I use is 13 this stuff is amazing for the brows and I feel like I'm never gonna run out because I have been using this forever but still using that um, and then the lip bar concealer this is like hands down my favorite concealer right now I just purchased another one because even though it doesn't look like it but I am scraping this tube right here so my plan is to um, use this one up before I open the other one but this is my everyday concealer whether I'm filming videos whether I'm not filming videos I'm always 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 reaching for this concealer I use the shade um, four o'clock cinnamon if it will focus there we go so she's going in there and I've also been really liking this merit uh, it's like a foundation and concealer type of situation and I did review it well I didn't do like a dedicated review but I did a um, full face testing new products and this is one of the products that I use in that video so this shade is khaki and this is the color that I use for my um, highlight so just to highlight the center of my face and I have another shade it's called amber that shade is um, the color that I would use all over the face or if I just want to spot conceal but since um, I want to use this as concealer we're gonna keep this one in the drawer as well so I forgot to mention these when I was talking about the primers I just opened hold on oops so 
Sorry, y'all. I'm trying to tap the screen so it can stay in focus. But anyway, I just opened this up a couple of days ago because I wanted to try out a new moisturizer. So I went in my beauty closet, just kind of searching, seeing what I had and just something that was super light, like not too heavy, something that I can wear under my makeup that it won't make it look too greasy. And I came across this. So the brand is called In Beauty, yeah, In Beauty Project. And I saw that a couple of their products are starting to go um, available on Sephora, so which I didn't know. But anyway, um, it's the Slushy Serum Moisturizer Crush. This has a very unique texture. It's really kind of watery, like it squirts out like a regular cream type of moisturizer. But once you start rubbing it together, let me show y'all. See, see, it looks like it'll be like a thick creamy moisturizer right but once you start rubbing it it feels really kind of watery so that's why I want to put this in my everyday makeup drawer because this wears um, I feel like this wears really nicely under makeup it's not too heavy it absorbs really good and it leaves the skin looking really radiant which I like so she will be my like everyday moisturizer when I'm doing my makeup and then of course SPF um, you guys have heard me talk about this a million and one times recently so this is the soap and glory urban legend daily SPF 30 so she is going in here as well okay let's move on to some mascaras so I feel like I am almost at the end of this mascara right here this is the Maybelline um, sky high mascara it looks a little nasty because, girl, I've been using and abusing this stuff. But, um, yeah, so I want to try to finish this up. And I feel like I'm pretty close because every time I'm using it, it, it seems like not a lot of, um, of the mascara is coming out on the wand because I just use it so much. <laughs> but this is currently my favorite drugstore mascara. So I want to try to finish this up. So we are putting her in here as well. And the Huda Beauty Legit Lashes. I just purchased this. When was this? It was, I, I shared this in my Sephora haul about a month ago. It was the part one. Because y'all know I just uploaded like my part two. <laughs> but um, yeah, so really, really, really like this. This has two different sides to it. So this side right here, I actually like for both my top and my bottom lashes I don't even know if it's gonna focus for you guys but it's just a smaller one and it kind of has like a little curve to it see girl this camera like come on there we go so it has like a little curl to it which I like and then the um, the other end has a larger wand and this one's good for my um, my top lashes come on girl <laughs> y'all <laughs> okay there we go this one is good for the top lashes, but honestly, I like the smaller one for my bottom and my top, but I like it, so we are using her. So let me put my moisturizers over here. Actually, moisturizers, concealers can go over here, mascara. Um, I have another mascara. Now, I haven't even opened this one, but I wanna try it. It's the Gucci Mascara, y'all. Girl, we are fancy right here. <laughs> so, let me show you how she looks. She is so pretty. It's like a soft pink tube with a gold top. Really, really cute. Um, and let me show you the wand. Here's the wand right there. Really nice. So I want to give this one a try and we are going to be using this for the next few weeks to a month, kind of, you know, get a good feel and I'll let y'all know how I feel about it. So now let's talk about my, um, first off the eyeliner. So I'm sticking with my L'Oreal Infallible Longwear Eyeliner. This is my favorite drugstore. Um, come on camera girl. 
<laughs> okay, this is my favorite drugstore eyeliner. And this one is the brown. Um, I usually use brown or black, but I like how the brown doesn't look too harsh. And you guys know I usually wear um, eyeliner on my bottom lashes and uh, my waterline anyway. And then the Charlotte Tilbury eyeliner. This one is like a double-sided um, eyeliner. Let me just pull back so y'all can kind of see it better. But yeah, the Charlotte Tilbury. This one has the black on one side. And then this is like a um, pearl pinkish champagne color, which I rarely, almost never use. <laughs> so just wanted a black one and a brown one in my everyday drawer. And then for my brows. So Huda Beauty. I feel like I've talked y'all's ears off about this one as well. The new Huda Beauty brow pencil. It is the most skinniest brow pencil I've ever used. Um, and since it's so skinny, it is really, really, really easy to break. So just keep that in mind. But I like how it makes my brows look and I like how it goes on. It's just so easy, so precise, so skinny. Like it's just, uh, it's just the best. So keeping this in my everyday makeup drawer. And then my two drugstore brow pencils. Um, I have the Flower Beauty which a lot of you know is my one of my favorites from the drugstore. And then this um, this new Wet n Wild brow pencil. It's the Brow Sessive brow pencil. So those are the brows. What else? Now when it comes to eyeshadows, I don't. Honestly, I like something just to throw on the eyes, something neutral, and I'm good. But for um, those days when I just want to dip into color, I'm going to put this one in my drawer for that. This is the Tom Ford uh, African Violet palette. And this is how she looks. It just has purples, peach, bronze, gold. So this is a good like pop of color if I want to use um, color. And oh, by the way, I did a tutorial on that already when I was testing out new products. Um, you guys can find it on my channel. It was like two weeks ago, I believe. Um, and then my everyday, like just everyday throw on and go eyeshadow is my e.l.f. Cosmetics Bite Size. This one is Truffles, which is my favorite, favorite, favorite one from e.l.f. Um, if y'all haven't tried these, like girl, just just get one, at least one. They're three dollars. This is my favorite. If you like everyday neutrals, this is like this is the perfect one to try out because you have those everyday neutral type of shades. So, so good. And then this right here. I just did a like full face of um, Giorgio Armani makeup or Armani Beauty makeup. Y'all, this color is called 39. And it's an eye tint. It goes on really creamy. Let me swatch it. So right here. So it's really, really creamy and you can blend it out. So this is my, gonna be my, like my everyday lid color. And it's so pretty y'all. So, so pretty. And it's, I don't know. I just love this type of color. <laughs> I can't get enough of browns and just ugh, neutrals all together. So that will be in here as well. And I think... That's pretty much like the makeup stuff that I'm keeping in here. Oh yeah, setting sprays. So, I'm actually almost out of my Smashbox, so we are using this up for sure. So that's the plan, to use this up. This is my favorite, y'all. My favorite, favorite, favorite setting spray. It locks in everything, and I noticed that my makeup doesn't transfer as much when I use this, so this, will be in here as well and I'm actually gonna keep this on top of my vanity and this one from Revlon this is a good dupe to my um girl what is that spray I always use y'all help me out what is that spray because y'all know I use two sprays cover FX dewy mist this okay if you have oily skin girl uh-uh I would not recommend this one because I feel like this is a little bit more dewy than my Cover FX Dewy Mist. So I don't think you would like this if you have oily skin. Now, I do have oily combo skin, but 
I like, I mean, y'all see in my makeup tutorials, I usually use like these dewy sprays just around my forehead, like at the top of my forehead, cause I like to have that glow around, like, I don't know, maybe I'm, it's just me, but I like for my forehead to be a little dewy, <laughs> especially the sides. And also like the side of my face where I would put highlighter, cause I mean, I don't really wear highlighter anymore. So this is nice. I like, I really, really like. So this will be my dewy spray on top of my um, my setting spray. Now I'm gonna keep it super simple with the lips. I'm just gonna show you guys like the lip balms that I'm um, putting in my everyday makeup drawer, which is this one from LYS Beauty. And y'all can see we are actually going through this stuff. So um, she will be in here as well. And then the Biosant Squalene Rose Vegan Lip Balm, which they repackaged if you didn't know because it came in like a little um, little jar you had to dip your finger in it but if you didn't like that and if you want the squeeze tube they have it on Sephora right now so this will be in my everyday makeup drawer as well so these are the, like the lip th uh, the lip products that I put on before I do my makeup before I do anything to my lips just something to keep my lips hydrated um, and all of that but as far as like colored lip products um, you guys know I stick with my nudes so um my elf lip pencil stays in this drawer like it it never leaves this drawer <laughs> and then, look at this y'all she is tiny so this is nude number three and it comes in the elf um retro paradise lip kit um but yeah i keep that in there and then this lipstick i need to go ahead and get another one because i'm almost out this is the revolution pro lipstick in the shade latte the perfect look at this y'all I am almost out, but this is the perfect everyday nude, like true nude, not no pinky nude, not no mauve nude. Like this is your perfect beige brown nude. Okay, it's it's like the perfect color. So yeah, this stays in here as well. And then the glosses, I'm just gonna keep these three in my drawers. So this is the Artist Couture gloss in the shade X rated. This is their new color um their new nude the first nude they had is uncensored which y'all know is my favorite 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 <laughs> nude lip gloss but uncensored is also another one of my favorites from artist couture so she is going in the drawer and then these new um nyx cosmetics milky glosses i have the shade cookies and milk and this is just a regular nude a regular beigey light nude and then this other one is really really sheer which is why I like it so much it's called um, milk and honey and it's just like a um, look how sheer that is like it goes with everything so just my everyday clear not clear but <laughs> everyday glosses that I'm keeping in my drawer but that's it that is it and just so you guys can see it a little bit closer this is how it all looks so everything is just organized all my foundations back here skin tints tinted moisturizers primers SPF moisturizer brows and eyeliners are in there pressed powders loose setting powders bronzers blushes and then my concealers which i might put my concealers over here so i don't know whatever um and then um eyeshadows lip products and then my makeup palette right there my little makeup palette but yes girl this is my everyday makeup drawer for now <laughs> So I just finished editing. I'm about to upload this video once I put in this little portion of the vlog. But I hope y'all enjoyed hanging out and just watching me clean out my vanity. Um, if you guys did some cleaning, I want to know what did you clean? Was it, you know, the kitchen, living room, bedroom, bathroom, just anything. So um, let's talk about it down below. And I also hope you guys had a good weekend so um, and also a good week ahead. But that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out. And I will see you guys later on this week. Bye.